Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. Two starting lineups. Underway. Point forward. What does he try from here? Out towards the flank. He's there to get rid. Pops it towards the front. And they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Passes it through. And he's through on goal. It's in! Wonderful stuff, and it was all about quick thinking and even quicker feet, but you have to ask questions as to how he got through. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. Now the pass. Nicely controlled. What a throw in. It and now what? So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Looking to shoot, this could fall anywhere. He's going after it away from immediate danger. It's not the cross he had in mind. Has a swing at it! Oh, wow! An absolute pile driver! Oh, that is a gem! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Well, I'd like to praise a, a nicely constructed move and goal, but it's hard to see past the, the many defensive frailties on view there. It was a shambolic attempt to, to deal with that last attack, it really was. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Shot at goal! And more, and more, and more! And they are disappearing out of sight! And 
That is stunning. Just too hot to handle. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. Reply. This is becoming a stroll. Tries to stroke it through. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Into the channel. Played out wide. Well blocked, and back out it comes. And the referee brings the first half to a close. It really has been an astonishing game, peppered with goals. You cannot help feeling that the second half will supply more. Start of another 45 minutes. Cuts it out. Pumps it upfield. It's a long forward pass. Looks like a good ball through. Crashes into the box. He'll have a dip! Caught offside that time. Set a match, or so it feels. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end, they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. A long pass towards the front. Hits one! He scored! Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. So is this the start of a comeback?
Looks to slip it through. Sneaks it out of harm's way. Good defending there. They've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Done very well to intervene. out of play well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's happened in this case Four extra minutes added on. Goes wide. Whipped in. He has done it! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Well, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. There is the final whistle. Oh, a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Listen, there was a real concentration on wider attacking outlets and they got their tactics spot on. They found a vulnerability and played on it to the full. It was clever and superbly executed. And just to add, usually if you're enjoying good success from the flanks, it will be shut down or disrupted in some way, but they deserve great credit for maintaining energy and, and a liveliness to their play. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.